Of course, it's not just the closure of chain stores which has prompted a resurgence of independent shops. The way we buy online has also changed our retail landscape. The number of independent record shops has dramatically declined over the last two decades. Now the story of their birth, rise and rebirth is being highlighted in a film as our arts reporter Satnam Rana has been finding out. For over 60 years, the Discree in Birmingham City Centre has been a magnet for music lovers. Inside, manager Jimmy shares his passion with customers. But what does he think about being featured in the film Last Shop Standing, which tells the story of independent music shops across the UK? 100% uh, behind the whole thing. Love the idea, yeah. The people making it are local, which is nice to know that somebody local has made such a superior film, and I do think it is a superior film. Today, there are 300 independent record stores in the UK. In the 1990s, there were 2,200. This decline prompted Pip to make the film. Birmingham is totally reflective of the demise, but it's also reflective of the fact that it's still holding on. You know, because it isn't a film that's just about, oh no, look at what we've lost. It's a celebratory film and it's a film that's looking at what's happening now and what's coming up in the future. So there is a positive spin to it. But what does the future hold for independent stores? A question I put to this professor of music industry's innovation. Obviously there's been a decline in, in record stores uh, just because of what's happened online and what's happened with uh, you know, the sale of CDs and so on. But people who have done interesting things and focused on vinyl or particular types of music, there seems to be a kind of a, um, a sustainability about that. Many stores are now temples to vinyl, which are still attracting those who worship music. For that reason, the independent record shop still has a place on our high street. Satnam Rana, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. The fallout.